Hey guys, it's me, and I'm gonna teach you how to do dip dye your shorts. So I got these shorts, Sophie shorts at Walmart. They're five bucks. And then I got these white jean shorts. Not much left to say. At um, Walmart. For $12.88. That's not bad. That's kind of cheap for a pair of shorts. And I got these dyes. I've got turquoise, pink, purple, and lime green. And um, they have the directions on the back. They're like two and a half bucks, which ain't bad. So that's pretty cool. Next thing you'll need is a pair of gloves. You can get these at Dollar Tree. And then a thing of salt. And then you'll need like a bucket, a tub, anything so you can put your dye inside and then we can dip our short. Alright, so I just poured my water and I'm going to put some of my color in. So I think I'm going to go with lime green and pink. So I'm going to pour one fourth cup of salt in here and then pour in your dye. Make sure you wear gloves when you do this. Now I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to have like middle of my shorts be like one color and then the outside should be the other color. So I'm just going to fold them in half. Make sure they're pretty much even. And then I'm going to dip them right in. Make sure it's pretty much even. Make sure it's got like even on both sides. Just gonna let it sit for a bit. I'm actually gonna dip these the other way. In this life I lead, I plead no fit on how I feel, but drink a fit the hand to kill how I'm feeling. I know what's wrong, but it won't be long until it all falls down. Woke up yesterday, coughing up cigarettes, smoking, head hurt. Not much left to say, but that I'm going through a bad situation. Once in my life I've had to find my way out of the dark so the sun could shine. Not to promise, but effort given to make it better I'm trying. In this life I lead, I plead no fit on how I feel, but drink I put the hand to kill how I'm feeling. Here's my Sophie shorts after I unfolded them. And then here's my jean shorts. So I'm going to let these sit for a little bit and then I'm going to come back and wash them out. And then I'll show you the dry effect and then I'm going to stud them. Alright, so now I'm going to wash them out. So I'm going to use cold water. Maybe it's where I stay. East Coco, that's my true addiction I had to vacate to get my mind straight Off to the 808 to contemplate And I 
Here's the sofas that I made, they're dry. They're two different colors. Pretty. Same on the other side. Here is the LEI Ashley Low Rider jeans that I did for Walmart. After they're dry. So I got some studs. And I don't know if you guys have heard of E6000, but it's a really good glue for keeping on studs and like rhinestones, anything that you want to put on clothing and you use this glue, it will stay. It says wash and dry are safe, so um, you can wash it, dry it. This would actually be my third time using this, so um, we're going to put some rhinestones on my shorts as well. So I'm going to work with the left side, and I'm going to pinch the pocket. Make sure you're not getting the other fabric underneath, you just want the outside pocket. And I'm going to pinch the material like that. And there's going to be a little hole in there. Take my scissors, and go all the way. Cut until about you think is right. And I'm going to cut it the other way. Alright, that's probably good. Okay, so what you want to do after you got your slits is um, you can use your scissors. I'm just going to use this butter knife since it's easier. And you're just going to pick at it. And if you tell it's getting like that picky look that you want, you know when you wash and dry it, it's also going to do it by itself. So we'll just start it a little bit. There's a little pocket on the side of these jeans over here. I'm going to put some studs on that. I'm going to take my stud and it's got two little prongs on the end. And what you're going to do is you're going to just poke it through where you want. I'm going to put one at an angle. It's going to be sticking out like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to use a butter knife and I'm going to push each side down. When you push it down, it's going to look like that. This is what my pocket looks like after I'm done studying it. I'm going to do the same thing like I did in the back pocket. I'm going to pinch this part right here. some of these gems on this side pocket and I'm going to use my tweezers I'm going to use my tweezers in this and I'm just going to simply go over that like that see the bottom? I'm going to put some of my glue on the bottom and then stick it on my jeans so we have gems in one pocket and then we got a little bit of studs in the other. Alright, so we did a little bit of studying in the little pocket. In the other pocket we did stones. 
gonna cut in the front and that's gonna fray really nice in the front. In the back we just did, we cut two slits in the pocket and then we put some studs on here and In this life I lead, I plead no fit on how I feel, but drink a fit the hand to kill how I'm feeling. I know what's wrong, but it won't be long until it all falls down. Woke up yesterday, coughing upset.